Hey guys, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead. So I'm starting dinner at 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> because I'm going to do my um, crock pot since you guys requested it. Now normally how I would make this in the crock pot, I'm not going to do that. Because what I bought at Kroger I thought I could make into pork chops. And actually it's pork loin. So we're going to do it just a little bit different. And I'm going to layer it differently. I was going to go get some mushrooms to do it too, but I've decided not to. So, and you could add onion. It's yours. You do whatever you want. I got a little bit of olive oil in my pan. And I'm going to take these tenderloins. And I'm going to use both of them because they're obviously really small. And I'm going to cut them up. And normally, I wouldn't... Um, pre-cook them first or do like a browning first but because I'm cooking them or cutting them thicker I'm going to um, just at least kind of brown them a little bit because I'm going to use every bit of that meat anything that's left over I'm sure Jack will love and it'll be fine there will be no waste and actually, there's a guy at, at Tom's work that loves my cooking. So he got a bowl of soup today, too. He's the one I made the cake for. And he doesn't mind having any of my leftovers. <laughs> so I have no problem giving them to him, too. He's just a young guy, and, you know, hey. He lost his dad last year, and I just, he just bought a home, you know, just all the things that good young kids should be doing, and I'm proud of them. So, I've never met them. That doesn't mean I can't be proud of them. Alright. So, let me get this area cleaned up, because I'm going to do something else now. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is just spray down my crock pot. It likes to stick, but, you know... We'll give it a fighting chance. <laughs> Alright. So now this is, like I said, not the way I used to do it, but we're going to do it a different way, and hopefully it'll turn out okay. If not, then I guess we won't do it this way again. Used to be I'd make the big pork chops, and i put them on the bottom, and I'm really glad I'm using up these potatoes, by the way, because I found two more bad ones today. This was the last of them. So... That's got a bad spot, too. So what happens when you get them, you know, the really reduced prices. Sometimes, you know, you got to go through them pretty quick. But $5.99 for as many as I had, and for as many as I've gotten from it, it was well worth it. Well, well worth it. All right, so I'm going to get these quartered up. Now, in the old recipe that I was doing, I would just fit these in there somewhere. I didn't make a special space for the potatoes. But Tom's more of a potato lover than me and my kids were, so I know he likes a lot of potatoes. So we're going to get all those chopped up. And then, let me get these medallions turned over a little bit. It's like I say, I don't want to cook them all the way through because they're going to cook for a very long time. I just want to kind of brown them with the salt and pepper and just give them a little bit of taste of their own. These actually might work out okay because they're smaller and you know, one or two bites and, and they're done. So that's great. And it was buy one, get one free. So I got two packages of those for um, $10.58, I want to say. So that's not too bad. And then I'm going to use the other one for something else on Saturday. So, yes, I'm going to make something for my son. I'm just <laughs> All I just find it very relaxing to actually put together something for my kid. Um, yeah. 
They're completely independent. They have their own lives. <laughs> All that good stuff. So I'm going to do something different too now. Um, I'm into this thing right now, use up what we have so that we get rid of it, you know, that's in the refrigerator. And I have some carrots that were just a few of them left. I don't even remember what we had it with, but I'm going to throw those carrots in there too. Might as well get them used up. I was going to go get the mushrooms, but like I say, I decided not to because I have some other errands I got to run after thankful Thursday. I got to go get birthday cards and postage stamps and stuff for my customers. So I figured, well, it'll just have to not have mushrooms. <laughs> now in my old recipe, what I did is just do a great big, huge family can of the cream of mushroom soup but I don't have any of those and I'm gonna actually use a cream of chicken too just for a little bit of different ump to it you know what I mean so this is gonna be a new experience for all of us I'm kind of just doing my own thing with this <laughs> okay. I tried to find an exact recipe of what I used to do and I couldn't find anything like that so we're just gonna wing it if I need more soup then I'll get more soup oh look at that one all of it out I don't get that lucky too often oh two in a row hey hey that's great I'm going to stir it together a little bit. And before I add anything else to it, I'm going to put some pepper in there. I want to go over and get some blackberries from our fresh time today, too. Um, they're 99 cents. What I do is I take each of those little plastic things and I um, wash them and put them in a plastic baggie and put them in the freezer. And that's what I use to put with Tom's yogurt. Or if he wants a fruit to take to work, that's what I use. So when I can get them for 99 cents like that, then I do it. And then they have a coupon too for um, strawberries for 99 cents if you use the coupons. So I might get a few of those. I have lots of frozen ones. But once in a while it's nice just to get a fresh strawberry, you know what I mean? All right, so I'm gonna see if I need more milk after this. I like a lot of the mixture because this is the one thing my kids liked about it is I make it with make it to be the gravy that goes over the potatoes. Because at that time, when I used to make this all the time, I didn't make any gravy. <laughs> You'd buy it in a can and that's what my gravy was, so. Because I've always been afraid to cook the gravy. <laughs> Alright. So now I'm going to take that. And I'm going to pour some of this over top of the potato mixture. Because let's get the potatoes all done up, you know. Then I'm going to take that meat. And I'm going to pour the oil and everything in it. It's just olive oil. There isn't that much in there. And I'm going to pour this over top of it. We want it to get all laid out. I think I actually might like, let me show you. I might like that I use those instead of the pork chops because, well, A, it looks prettier. But B, <laughs> it will be almost like a bite size, you know what I mean? So then I'm going to take the rest of that and I'm going to pour it right over top. Now I'm going to keep this on medium high and let it cook all day. <laughs> I really honestly, um, crock pots are not my favorite thing, but I'm actually, you know, I'll do a couple things with it and we'll see how that works out. I've just been, um, I don't know. 
I like to play with my food. <laughs> and I like to be able to stop at dead center and do whatever, you know, and I don't like to have to start my dinner at 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so I'm going to get this put in my crop, crock pot and get it, um, you know, plugged in and everything and get the lid on it. And then I guess we'll see tonight how it turns out. Um, like I say, I had to, you know, change it around a little bit because of the meat, but that's okay. That's okay. You can do this with chicken. And by the way, you can do this in the oven as well. <laughs> All right. So I'll be back and show you how dinner turns out. I figured I made it over to the store that has the um, mushrooms on sale for $1.19. So I thought... Why not fry these up? Because dinner's already done. And I just got it on warming. So why not fry up these mushrooms and put it in with um, today's crock pot meal? So that's what I'm going to do is add that to the crock pot meal and see how that turns out. And then I got my strawberries all washed. I'm getting all wet from it. And I'm going to chop them up and we'll have those for dinner tonight, too. Well, hi, Tom. Hello, hello, hello. There's hello, his hello. dinner, his hands in the way. There's your dinner. And he's got cake and strawberries. What do you think? I think Bill trying to get in the picture again. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. What do you think? Oh. All in my crock pot. What would you say about the pork? It falls apart. Because <laughs> it's so tender? Take the pork in it and you'll boost everything. <laughs> Alright, Jack. What do you think? This is very good. Try your cake. What do you think? That's good too. All right, you try your cake, Tom. All right, snuck a bite. I know you did. Hmm. What do you think? Delicious. So how's dinner? Winter, winter pork dinner? Winter, winter pork dinner. All right. You guys have a blessed and wonderful night. Be a blessing and bye, Tom. Bye, Tom. Bye, Jack. Bye. You guys have a great night.